Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I hope that you guys have been enjoying my BTS footage. Um, keep telling me what you guys want to see in those, what type of questions you want me to ask, um, and I'll keep expanding them. Um, of course, it's hard because I'm doing shooting as well, but the more I can, the more content I can get within those um, videos, just let me know what you want to see and I'll start adding it um, as time goes on. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, before I even get started, if you guys are not subscribed, pause the video and subscribe right now. Um, that's very important and I'm trying to grow this thing and you know learn you guys and see what you want um, from me. Um, that being said, I wanted to take the time to kind of walk you guys through. I've gotten so many questions of about how I became an influencer, how it all started, how I even be, you know got interested in it and kind of what it's like. So I guess with that being said, we'll just get right into it. Um, to be honest with you guys, I really don't know how this happened. I really have no idea. Um, I started my Instagram account in, I want to say 2011, um, or maybe 2012. I was in college and I was one of the last of my friends to even create an account. Um, as time grew, I just like taking pictures. I like being cute. I like dressing um, and I like taking pictures. So the following just kind of came just because I just liked posting. Um, through college, of course, I started taking more pictures, being more intentional about my posting, but nothing close to what I'm doing now. Um, my pictures were actually quite horrid. I'll actually show you guys some of my old Instagram pictures. But yeah, I don't know, it kind of just happened. The following grew out of nowhere. I mean, I, I of course like to say that it was God. It was God, because I mean, I don't think my pictures were good. I don't think I posted anything interesting that people actually wanted to see. Um, it kind of just happened, but um, that being said, I moved to Dallas. I started meeting a lot of people who were influencers. And at first I would be, you know, taking clothes and t-shirts and, you know, it's free. So of course, like send me whatever you want. I'll take a picture and post it. Um, and I started meeting people in Dallas who were like, you have how many followers and you're not charging anything for post or like, you're not utilizing that at all or there's no type of science to it with you. And I'm like, no, I just, it's cute. I like being cute. They wanted to send me a free something and that's it. And they were like, you can really make a business out of this. You need to take it serious. And basically started sharing all the tips and stuff that they knew. Um, at first I was overwhelmed and I was like, this is way too much. Like I have a job, I'm straight. Um, I'll just do it for fun. And once I started getting into it, I was like, oh, I could do this. Like you get to, you know, shoot and charge, you know, I was charging like pennies for my post um, but to me it was something because it was more than what I had um, and I started watching people like Gary V and Mariana Hewitt and Makeup Shayla and of course like all those bomb people that we watch and you know learn about the influencer digital marketing digital media world um, and started learning so many different things and as I started taking it more serious and being more consistent I was like this is like a real life thing and I could really go somewhere with this. Um, so just started, you know, I took it upon myself to start learning the industry and learning how it works. Um, still feel like I'm not there yet, um, but that's kind of how it happened. It just happened. And then maybe about the last year or so is when I would really consider it being a business of mine and me actually being interested in, you know, growing it and taking it further and eventually being full time, like I told you guys in a previous video. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of how it happened. Um, another question you guys ask is kind of what does it take? And I am still learning, but I think some of the biggest things are, you know, kind of making sure that you're actually interested in it. Um, if you don't like taking pictures, if you don't like, you know, kind of selling for my job that I'm, my corporate job, I sell. Um, also in college, I started my hair company, which I was selling bundles, like selling is what I do. Um, and I just like the art of it. I like the art of gaining people's trust and winning people's trust and, and kind of just showing what I do and how I do it and, you know, how I got to where I am, all that kind of stuff. So I think you have to like people, you have to like analyzing your audience and, and doing what it is that they want to see or what they like. Um, 
while also remaining yourself, which is also very, very important. Um, as far as the challenges are concerned, um, I think one of the biggest challenges is, well actually there's many. Um, one of the biggest challenges are the pressure. Um, of course, just like people who aren't influencers, you go on Instagram and you see, you know, top of the line everything. You see the highest quality of everything. I think one of the biggest challenges of being an influencer is remaining who you are and trusting your own process and kind of going with your own flow as far as, you know, getting to these milestones and not going to, you know, somebody with millions of followers and saying, why am I not here? Why don't my posts look like this? Why am I not, do why am I not getting these type of brand deals? Um, things like that, kind of trusting your own process and not letting, you know, what you see and what you may like pressure you into turning into something that you're not. Um, I think that's the biggest thing with me, especially knowing, like I said, my followers, I mean, I feel like there's a reason why God gave me the followers that I have, because when I gained the, the, the majority of my following, my content was booty. It was terrible. Like it was terrible. There was nothing that I thought anybody wanted to see. Um, so I think knowing why you're doing what you're doing, whether it's to encourage, inspire, um, fashion stuff and all that kind of stuff. I think it's good to know why you're doing what you're doing um, and sticking with that and not letting the pressure of everybody else. And this is what a blogger does. And this is what an influencer does um, affect what you're doing. And for me, to be honest, I feel like you can go through my profile and see where I started to feel the pressure and when I started to kind of change, try to change into something that I wasn't or, and I left it up there because I want people to see the journey you know, as far as how it goes and how, you know, you gotta bring it back in. That's not who you are, that's not what your purpose is. Um, you're not, you know, trying to be this fashion mogul. You know, you're here to be a light and to be a light for my people and however, you know, that happens. Um, but this is, let the main thing be the, stay the main thing. Um, and not to get deep, but I feel like with God, it's like, do what, do what I asked you to do or I'll just remove everybody and your Instagram account magically get deleted <laughs> or something crazy like that. Like, that's how I think. So I just try to stay, keep my purpose real and then while also growing. Um, but yeah, I think those are the, that's one of the main challenges, uh, the pressure and then also being consistent. Instagram with all its crazy algorithms and all that crazy stuff, like being consistent is very important and out of sight, out of mind, I tell people this or anybody who's asked, asked me anything about being an influencer or a blogger, um, consistency is what will sink you or, you know, cause you to soar. Um, it literally is out of sight, out of mind. If I don't see you on my timeline that day, like it's a wrap for you, unfollow. Um, but yeah, I think those are the biggest things, consistency and remaining, remaining on your walk through the pressure. So along with that, I mean, a lot of you guys also ask me about some of the tips I would give to someone who is an influencer or aspiring to be one. Um, they're pretty simple. Um, the main one is be you, like be who you are. We have enough people out here in the world and we have enough pressure on our own selves to try to do and be more. Um, I think the thing that will separate you from the rest is being yourself. Um, we can tell when you're trying. We can tell when you're doing something that you're not comfortable with. Like it, everything shows through a picture and, and I learned that the hard way. Um, you know, with shooting and, and kind of just trying different things because it's what I saw other bloggers and influencers doing. Um, it won't work for you. And what will grow your following, grow your audience and make your content real is you being yourself and authentic um, and telling your own truth. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, another thing is patience. Um, be patient. You're not just going to like boom out of nowhere unless God wants to do that with you. And I'm sure he probably doesn't because it's all about a process and it's all about growing and where you are and learning along the way. Um, so being patient, like everything's not going to happen all together. You're not just going to magically become a model overnight because you said you wanted to be an influencer. Um, you're not gonna, you know, be amazing at posing and all that kind of stuff. On my other video, I was telling you guys, or Marka, 
which we didn't even ask for her input on this part. She was like, when we first started shooting, Jaleesa was terrible. Like, she didn't know what to do, how to pose, nothing. And that's true. Like, I learned it as I went. And I still am. I still be looking at my pictures like, sis, that ain't gonna work. Um, but it's all a process. Be patient. Allow yourself to learn and grow. Um, and pick up things from other people um, that fit for you. Don't pick up all the, all, and you know, obtain all the advice that you're given, but the things that fit for you, you know, learning from others and learning from their mistakes and you know, whatever, but your process is your process, your journey is your journey, and it's not gonna look like anybody else's. So embracing that while also being consistent. Um, and I think another big thing that is important from an influencer blogger standpoint is to analyze your following. Um, obviously balancing everything with being yourself, but analyze what it is that they like and what they want to see. If your followers follow, follow you for hair videos or makeup tutorials or whatever, like we don't want to see you cook. We don't, you know what I mean? Like just learn what your following likes and what they want to see and what, what triggers their engagement. Um, I think that's very important um, and something that I've learned along the way as well. Um, and lastly, um, a lot of people ask what, what's next for me or what are my goals with it? Uh, I'm kind of just in it right now. Um, of course, I want to grow. I want to get bigger brand deals. I want to, you know, start traveling more. And I kind of want to be known for an inspirational lifestyle and travel influencer. So, um, hit me up if you guys know of any uh, people I need to reach out to. Um, but yeah, I want to I wanna kind of just be like a whole type, not just fashion, not just whatever, um, but I kind of just want to be like a whole package type of thing just um, and grow from there. Uh, that is my goal. Of course, you guys already know I want to be full time. I'm still corporate now. I feel like until God gives me that go ahead, then I am in where he has me. Um, took a long a lot to get to that point but um I'm in it until until he says otherwise and until he brings something um an opportunity that is clear to me that this is him calling me elsewhere um but yeah eventually my desire is to be full-time blogging influencing and traveling um whether it's reviewing products whether it's reviewing um cities or you know resorts or whatever but that is my goal for it um, and then to just be a light. Like I want people to have seen me from the bottom where I started. So um, I want you guys to follow my journey and, and see you know, me learning right with you, uh, right along with you. Um, whether it's blogging, influencing, whether it's whatever you wanna do, kind of just seeing the journey because I feel like a lot of people, you know, that you only see the end result. And I feel like with me, my, my goal was to show the process of getting to where I want to be. And with God's help, we will get there, guys. We will get there and you will you will come back on these videos and be like, she said, she said that she wanted to do this. And yes, that is going to happen. It's just all a matter of time um, and experiences and everything that I have to go through to get to that. And sometimes the journey is the best part. So stay tuned with everything um, as it relates to blogging, influencing, YouTube, all that, because, I mean, even today, a year ago, you guys, I wasn't even on YouTube, so any other questions you guys have, put them in the box, of course, I will filter and, you know, do another video, um, but I figured that this was like an entry thing of, you know, you, me becoming an influencer and kind of telling you guys where I plan on going with it and my purpose and how I got here and all that kind of stuff, um, so yeah. Stay tuned, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, Jaleesa Yvonne, Twitter, Jaleesa Yvonne. I don't really get on Pinterest, but my Pinterest is kind of dope. Uh, Jaleesa Yvonne as well. What else I got? Oh, guys, I have a page where I am selling a lot of my gently used, probably most of it is brand new clothes, shop Jaleesa's closet. Um, only on Instagram and I just started it maybe a couple weeks ago and everything is going like crazy. Um, 
my closet is like, you ever see that emoji where it's like this close? This close to collapsing. Like all of my things are like bending in from the hangers. Um, so I'm trying to get rid of a lot of stuff and I just don't want to be a hoarder because I want to provide room for everything else he wants to bring. So I'm getting rid of the old stuff. So yeah, most of it, I, most of it I just wore for a shoot. Like that's literally it. So yeah, I promise that I'm going to be more consistent with these videos. It's coming. I just need to get back in my groove. It was just my birthday and it was the holidays and I was just eating and sleeping and being lazy and not wanting to do anything. So I'm back now. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Watch all the rest of the videos if you haven't. Um, and yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Started from the bottom and we're going to get there. And that's it. Can you turn it off now? I did. Bye, guys.